then got and just as a quick refresher from the last session that we had we covered rock wealth so rock wealth essentially would be the same element as the friend star so as they represent the same self element uh, friend star and rock wealth share very similar uh, characteristics and of course the difference would then be where uh, friend star tends to be a prima donna a prima donna I hope I'm spelling that right and rock wealth tends to be a team player and therefore it will be it will be very favorable if the day master is weak if the day master is weak the rock wealth will support the day master and if the and the rock wealth supports the day master the rock wealth can be a fantastic team player a supporter a fan and even to the point that the rock wealth can sacrifice himself or herself for others so rock wealth uh, can be one that is very generous rock wealth can be one that is a supporter a shareholder a partner who can support the day master so, yeah. So you can become the shareholder, the supporter, the supports. Uh, this is especially when we have direct officer and 7K controlling the rock wealth. And so if the rock wealth is controlled, the rock wealth is restrained, the rock wealth can be favorable. And the event, in the event that there, are there is a lack of restraint and the rock wealth is excessively strong, or especially when the day master is also strong, the rock wealth can also be a pirate. So rock wealth is a pirate, rock wealth can be a scammer, and rock wealth of course can be a one that steals the wife, huh? the one that steals the wife. Uh, yes it is uh, thank you for recording <laughs> thank you for the reminder <laughs> lesson learned from last week yeah yes it is all right and so now as we move on to the output in the output of course we have covered the hurting officer and the hurting officer is considered to be inauspicious because it shares the same polarity with the day master so yang for yang yin for yin and so it's considered to be not so harmonious. The one that is harmonious will be eating God. So eating God will be a harmonious production. Yang producing yin, yin producing yang. And therefore as a result, the eating God is auspicious, the eating God is preferred. And so as we look into what represents the eating God, can see that the eating god of course will be one that uh, provides for uh, the one that is the output star the one that uh, the one that of course would be considered to be uh, harmonious to it uh. so in the first part the eating god diminishes the day master so it weakens the day master it supports the wealth uh, therefore output supports the wealth so in fact it may be considered to be it may be considered to be a more preferable element for wealth generation so meaning to say that very often uh, very often uh, one can consider that it may be a bit naive for people to keep hoping to have wealth star it is true it is true that wealth star would be favorable but eating god will be deemed to be the wealth generating star therefore in a way it is to say that would you rather have assets or would you rather have a wealth generating machine 
uh, therefore eating god is not wealth but eating god is a wealth generator so the proverb uh, that give a person a fish to eat a day or uh, to teach the person how to fish uh, therefore that proverb may also mean that a wealth star uh, is like having bestowed a fish the eating god is having bestowed the ability to catch fishes uh, therefore one can say that the eating god is very auspicious one that is preferred and so here we see that the eating god has three special functions and therefore that's why the eating god is considered to be one that is welcome in the first instant of course we see that number one the eating god controlling 7k and so as we covered as we covered the 7k in our sharing we do see that 7k is harmful can be harmful can be inauspicious and therefore eating god controlling 7k is a very uh, positive signal so we see that the eating god controls huh? so eating god controlling the 7k and so that is why it is called the star of longevity because 7k brings death 7k brings illnesses and so that's why this is where sometimes the reading for 7k when it is inauspicious uh, uh, 7k denotes death denotes illnesses sickness and so eating god controlling 7k will be star of longevity huh? so the eating god is a star of longevity it's one way of putting it to have eating god is to have luck because eating god is an output and output star of course huh? uh, basically also brings talent huh? Uh, therefore, eating God is lucky huh, in a way, the star of luck, having an upward star. And of course, for female day master, eating God represents children. Therefore, to have children, uh, or, the, uh, or the reading for it, then we can find huh, that it will be having. Okay, we'll come to that. Huh? So if you do not have, if you do not have eating God in your chart for female, uh, we might see whether you have hurting officer or not because eating god and hurting officer represent both represents children and so if one does not have eating god in the natal chart one may meet uh, the chances of conceiving will be lower and even if one can still conceive uh, there might be lack of affinity uh? so there's a very lack of affinity in the chart uh? uh, therefore that may be the reading we have Star of nobility, that would be the third function of the eating god, where eating god produces wealth. Huh? So therefore, it's a noble, noble star. And so usually if one have to choose between the two, wealth or eating god, uh, a more rational huh? a reader would prefer to have eating god. Huh? It, it is like uh, instead of having instead of having a gold bar, huh? you rather have the goose that can lay the golden eggs yeah? uh, therefore that's where you want the machine to be so eating god manifests in many areas it restrains the authority so it controls the authority it steals resources steals resources as it's eating god uh, uh, we can also say that uh, we may, may find a uh, resource controlling the eating god uh, so this will be just uh, one way to look into it as well Alright, so it represents children, it, and of course, for those working, it represents uh, juniors, subordinates, students. Therefore, to have no eating God is to have no subordinates, to have no staff, to have no people reporting to you. Eating God represents uh, literature, books, painting, and one may consider why the name is so funny in a way technically the chinese character for eating god is literally translated uh, where the word is to eat uh, 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 so therefore this would be a translation to mean eating god itself yeah as it is 
And the one thing is, it loves to eat, right? and it likes to eat. Uh, therefore, eating God is also a sign of uh, those who enjoy eating, fine dining, right? those who enjoy uh, to have the culinary art of it, right? the one that has it. Okay, so now very quickly, we see what are the persons to usually uh, manifest in eating God. We have also have artists, musicians, actors, lawyers, economists, mm. also social volunteer, religious authority. It represents food, no doubt. It represents the final thing in life. And so basically, uh, eating God, it will be very particular about the choice of food. And so, if anyone has eating God structure, fasa, uh, tendency to enjoy food is there. And you can also manifest uh, in plump, physique build, uh, so to speak. And eating God also would denote longevity. Therefore, basically, it works hand in hand with direct resource. So having direct resource and eating God is a good combination. A good combination for a very long life. Because here we see that if we look at it from the perspective, direct resource, direct resource weakens, weakens the 7K and eating God controls the 7K. Therefore, direct resource is the, the nobleman, eh? the nobleman, the guardian angel, and eating God is the talent star, eh? the talent star. Therefore, direct resource controlling eating God is also a very good uh, form. Yeah? So there's a flow there as well. Uh, therefore, uh, eating God is a good friend with direct resource. And both of them are introverts. Uh? Both of them uh, tends to be lonely or tends to be a prefer the solitude of self. Uh? So these are the introvert stars. So if you have direct resource you have direct officer, direct wealth, and eating God, there's a tendency to be more reclusive than to be more uh, to your own, eh? more quiet, so to speak. So eating God enjoys writing. Eating God is creative in producing works. So eating God prefers to be behind the scene, eh? behind the scene. So they are not so extroverted, they are not so uh, out uh, at the forefront of the public. They rather, so, so, so instead of becoming the producer or the actor, they rather be the screenwriter. They, ra they rather enjoy uh, uh, working, uh, working behind, uh, working behind alone uh, into it. But that doesn't mean they are not capable of coming out. They can, uh, but they have uh, but their creativity uh, is in terms of the final art, uh, so in terms of writing, script writing, and so on. And also here we find that it may represent the womb or the uterus of the woman, uh, in a way. Uh, it can also be deemed to be that. Alright, and so now let's take a look into the characteristics, the pro and con as it is. Uh, what represents the place? Uh? what it represents eating God. So eating God represents the output stars. So now let's look into the uh, look into how it has been uh, what, what, what is the embodiment of eating God and also we now here look into both output. So having eating God and hurting officer they represent individuals receiving nurturing. From you, uh, from you. Uh, therefore, they represent your children, your nieces, nephews, your junior, your students, your disciples. Uh, therefore, they represent people who need you. So in a way, it represents dependence. Uh, so, so it will be deceived to be dependent. Uh. So the more eating God you have, the more dependence you have. Uh, the more people who depend on you. Uh, your staff depends on you. To keep the business together, your children depends on you, and so on. Yeah, that's it. 
and the and the and the more output stars that you have, the more impatient you are. There's a sense of urgency, a sense of it, you know, a sense of urgency. In a way, uh, if we follow the Sigmund Freud's psychoanalysis, the output stars usually is denoted by uh, what is considered to be the it, uh, the it, uh, id. The wealth is the ego, and the officer is the super ego. And so as we follow flow from the self, the it, the ego, and the super ego. So it represents a very basic nature's urges. Huh? So in a way, you can say that when a baby is born, a baby has all it. Huh? So it basically means if uh, basically you want now, huh? you want now. Therefore, it is demanding. So if a, if a baby is hungry, the baby will cry. Because the baby communicate the needs, his or her needs, via crying. So therefore, that, that is why, that is why uh, if, not, if not auspicious, like hurting officer, we can also consider... Uh, Derogatory, uh, the Karen, uh, the Karen. Uh, the, this is today's, uh, uh, today's uh, derogatory name uh, for it. Apologies to all the Karens out there. I know a few. They are very sweet people. But somehow, uh, this has become that meme. Uh, so, to be a Karen, uh, so to speak. Alright, uh, therefore, hurting officer when inauspicious becomes a Karen. Because uh, hurting officer is extrovert. Therefore, it's an extrovert Karen. Uh, it's an extrovert Karen. So if hurting officer is an extrovert Karen, therefore what is eating God? So eating God is also a Karen, but an introvert Karen. Therefore, basically, uh, uh, because here it represents uh, one that does not hesitate to get what they want. Uh, so they do not hesitate. So they're very impatient. Uh, they're very impatient. They want it now. Uh, so they're demanding. So having both hurting officer and eating God, uh, they are very demanding because if they want it, they want it now. So there's a sense of urgency, there is a need. Huh? And because it, unlike ego and super ego, it doesn't it does uh, it doesn't restrain. Because super ego restrain. Huh? Uh, super ego basically means that you are aware of how the game is played. You are aware of the rules and society's norm. Basically, if you are reckless in behaving like a Karen, uh, you might receive backslash from society, bad reputation, and therefore you might be punished for it. Huh? So super ego understands punishment. Huh? They understand that uh, understand that you have to be you have to play a better game huh? a smarter game to get what you want therefore you need to know how to plot you need to know how to negotiate your way out huh? so so that's where officers are more uh, diplomatic huh? they are more diplomatic and they they understand uh, the needs of other people while output they are not huh? they are less about other people they are more about themselves huh? so therefore that's where they are it Right, so as we look into eating God, they have that as well. So it's an introvert Karen, which can be more dangerous because at least an extrovert Karen is visible. No? An extrovert Karen uh, display the displeasure immediately and while an introvert will, uh, will not uh, be too emotional in front of you no? as it is. Uh, so that's also the output stuff. And so a very good thing is that they are very efficient and they expect that with other people as well. Therefore, if you deal with eating God and hurting officer, uh, if, if your boss is one of those, then speed is of the essence. Eh? As it is. But because eating God is more subtle, therefore they are introvert. They are subtle, they are gentle, they are more endurance. 
maybe in terms of pop culture in the recent, uh, it, 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 there's a movie uh, that's called uh, The Devil, The Devil Wears Prada, huh? whereby we have uh, the lady boss. Huh? So the lady boss is vicious, uh, full of plotting, huh? uh, but in front, huh, you see a very subtle, gentle, the voice is soft. Huh? So therefore, uh, that is the introvert Karen for you. Right. So therefore, this will be where, how we can uh, comp uh, consider both the output and also uh, consider the difference between hurting officer and eating god dead. Right. So eating god people are, of course, uh, are, of course, uh, uh, basically, as I mentioned, uh, an eat, uh, full of eat. Uh, so therefore, they also uh, uh, would be quite emotional as well. And if not careful, uh, they might be also a manifest of anger management. Uh, so they need anger management uh, classes. Because if not, they're not able to control their emotions. They display them too often. All right. And eating God is attractive. Uh, they definitely will be the ones to uh, value the finer things in life. So if we talk about all the brands, uh, from Louis Vuitton to whatever brands that you have, eating God loves all these luxury brands. Uh, so they love a luxury lifestyle uh, and so on. Now the downside of eating God, if eating God is unfavorable, if it is uh, negative, uh, if it is weak, and then they tend to be lazy uh, and they tend to indulge in all this uh, petty petty stuff. Because at the end of the day, eating God loves to spend money. Uh, therefore, they enjoy, uh, they enjoy spending. Uh. Essentially, of course, there are sometimes what we call high maintenance. So these are the high maintenance people because they enjoy fine dining, they love shopping, they like to buy branded goods, and therefore high maintenance as they tend to indulge on all this. So to the eating god, their financial value system is easy come, easy go. Or definitely easy go. Whether it's easy come or not, that may be yet to see. Right, so now as you look into eating God, let's also explore uh, what are the skill set that they have. So taking a look into what are the positive, likewise to negative. So eating God people are well-mannered, high-cultured, very well-trained. As they love to wear expensive clothes, and be amongst expensive places and act and and have the look uh, have, and able to look as well. Uh, therefore, that's where they are good natured and polite. They keep a low profile, they are introvert, they love fine dining, Michelin star, they love all the beautiful things in life. So, if they can afford to buy a private yacht, they will. Uh, the bigger the house, the better. Uh, and if they can have a private chef, all the better because they love the food. So these are the eating God when it is. Now once it becomes, once it becomes negative, uh, basically of course it will not fail uh, to become the wealth generation. They can then just be a daydreamer, and of course, the opposite uh, to what was mentioned earlier, the lack of sense of urgency becomes lazy. They, uh, they are not motivated that uh, by, uh, by all this uh, ability uh, to get things done. So they get disconnected uh, and isolated, they become antisocial. Alright, so now let's take a look into where eating got uh, can be found in the charts. Here we have James Oliver, well-known chef, restauranter. And now just a very quick one. Where do we find eating God? Huh? So 
you can find eating god so first of all uh jamie oliver born as a koi water day master born in summer koi water is very big not rooted and therefore here we find uh, that the koi water will then have an eating god uh? the koi water will have an eating god and the eating god will be manifest in this particular site uh? therefore we have a koi water in has a year fasa and it's rooted uh? and it's rooted and it's rooted on itself so therefore we have the we have the wood rabbit uh? so we find that the eating god is in the form of wood, uh? wood. This is a wood rabbit, which of course is a pure wood pillar. So a pure wood pillar would be his fasa. Huh? So yeah, that's right. Uh, therefore, for Jamie Oliver, fasa. And of course, as we see, uh, the year stamp represents your fasa. So year stamp represents what the public, huh? what the public would have the first impression. And so for Jamie Oliver, his first impression is he's an eating god. Eh? So an eating god loves the finer things in life. An eating god loves to eat, you know, fine dining, culinary. And therefore, that's where we do see eh? that it is. But having said that, as I was doing my research, I do find that many chefs tend to have IR. Eh? IR, eh? the indirect resource. So we do see that there is a bit of a flow because indirect resource produces the day master and the day master produces the eating god. No? Uh, therefore, we do find uh, that there is this flow here. Indirect resource, so resource producing. Uh, so we have a, a resource producing day master that produces the eating god. Uh, therefore, there will be uh, quite a good uh, combination up there. Huh? Good combination. So you have a resource that comes in, so to speak. Okay, so so here we can see how we can read that uh, Jimmy Oliver has an eating god struck, uh, eating god fasa, and that fasa is rooted. So if it is rooted, that basically means that uh, what you see, his first impression, lasts. Huh? That means once a stem is rooted, it shows that. It is genuine. No? It is genuine. Uh, what you see is what you get, mm. and what you what your first impression is, and that impression will last. No? And therefore, that's positive. All right. No? So to have your stems rooted and no? positive, that would be good. Right. Now let's take a look into the next one. We have Taylor Swift. So Taylor Swift is a Ting Day Master. And here where would we find the eating god? And here we'll find the eating god to be also a fasa. And also in the the eating god is a G of huh? Chi of, huh? not of, huh? Chi of. So interestingly, here we have Taylor Swift. There is a Ting Fire Day Master, a Yin Fire Day Master. Born in the in the cold, dark winter of the Rat. And therefore, Ting Fire Day Master is white, but at least rooted in the good, no? rooted in the good. So therefore, there is a rooting to the good. So this day master has a bit of a rooting. And the day master here is born with a pink fire. Now, again, as I, uh, I, I tend to repeat, so therefore I try to reinforce the idea. When it comes to fire people, more so when they are both pink fire and pink fire protruded to the stems, Fire people is very important to see the hour. Huh? So if Taylor Swift happens to be very popular, 
happens to be successful, then you know sometimes we speculate or we take a guess. Huh? So take a guess that Sansa Sa she will be born at night. Huh? She will be born at night because for Ting Fire, the light shines huh? at night. But if she is born during the day, then perhaps if she were to migrate no? or to move herself to relocate to another country where it was at night no? it was night during the natal chart uh, tell for that's where we'll find that this star will be able to shine brightly no? as the thing fire and so usually we can consider that uh, Taylor Swift has no wealth star what will be the wealth star of a thing fire day master what would be the wealth star of a thing fire? So metal, so metal would be. And here we see no metal, there's no metal. So there's no metal. But having said that, of course, she has EG, so therefore she has an eating god. And the eating god is rooted, the eating god is rooted. So she herself is a day master sitting on the eating god. And the eating god is then. Uh, rooted no? with the year step. And therefore, this no? provides. No? So this provides. Uh, it no? metal is hidden in the year. A uh, metal is hidden in the year. No? Therefore, she has a very big metal star. Correct. No? Right. Therefore, yeah, this would be the case huh, whereby so eating God Fasa would be uh, manifest in terms of songwriting, creative. Huh? So eating God is creative. Eating God huh, is basically one who uh, uh, to be able to move into this industry. We'll take a look into the next one. We have Michael Jackson. So where do we find Michael Jackson's? The King of Pop is a Wu Earth born in autumn, so the Wu Earth is weak, and so yep, that's right. You will find that we find that the eating god is peak, and the eating god is rooted. Huh? Therefore, this will be the King Kung and Kung Shen. Huh? So it's rooted in the mud itself. So therefore, so therefore. It, Sitting, eating God, sitting on eating God. Huh? So eating God, sitting on eating God. And not just that, huh? metal is autumn. Huh? Metal is the peak in autumn. And therefore, day master born in autumn has a very strong eating God. So it's a very strong eating God, Fasa. And the thing is, of, uh, and the thing here, of course, is you can see that his Fasa is a friend. Huh? Friend. Normally, friend star. Normally, friend star basically means you. Huh? You are your. You are your own brand. Huh? You are your own brand. So many celebrities, huh? many founders of companies that name your own. So if you have a friend star, protruded to the step, career or, in the year. Uh, then if you were to do business, you can do business because Friendstar represents uh, shareholders, organization, companies. And Friendstar also means if you name your company, your name, uh, your name should be in the name of the company itself uh, because you are your own brand. So therefore that would be Friendstar. And having eating God in the career because Man Pillar, Man Pillar represents the pillar when you enter into society yeah? and so when you enter into society then your eating god then your man pillar represents your career pillar and eating god can be songwriter uh, songwriter so in a way we can find that people who are more uh, even though uh, even though these are celebrities uh, even though they are celebrities but we do consider that they are character uh, tends to be more introvert. No? They tend to prefer a more private uh, lifestyle. No? So you can find you can find that also quite visible amongst these people. 
uh, they try to keep their lives private because eating god uh, tends to and uh, tends to be introverted uh, so so not necessarily do we need to find them to be protruded to the step uh, so therefore this is uh, so this is the uh, 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 this is what the eating god structure can be as well okay so just a bit more about uh, Michael Jackson's uh, lock pillar itself and turn 4 uh, turn 4 has a uh, and turn 4 here as we look into the lock pillars for Michael Jackson we find that during the childhood uh, during the childhood years will be the metal lock pillar uh. so the metal lock pillar would be the same metal uh, as in the eating god or output so during the early years are uh, the output uh, the output pillar itself so as they move on into water water would represents uh, water represents the wealth uh, the wealth uh, luck pillar so one would expect uh, this to be quite a good flow actually moving from output uh, from output to wealth uh. so moving from output to wealth uh, would be quite a uh, very nice uh, flow for a luck pillar uh. because in a way as you can see from the day master when you're young uh, is output and then when you're mature you make money and then once you're middle age you gain status in the officer and of course uh, to the tail end you want a uh, resource uh, that comes in so it's more like a flow of life and you have an output uh, to the water. So this may represent uh, the kind of luck pillar that uh, Michael Jackson has. Uh, well, he passed away in the year 20 X9, and he passed away at the final year of the luck pillar, so he didn't cross to the rock wealth luck pillar. So the rock wealth uh, luck pillar is, uh, is uh, the one uh, that uh, where he has his own, met his own device uh, that comes in to the show. Alright, so this will be Michael Jackson and uh, uh, 51 year, years of life and how, is, how you can find the eating god uh, to be the main girl. Okay, so therefore here, uh, what would be the advice? What would be the journey of eating god? To be eating god uh, is to have a career. I mean, for Michael Jackson, that would be the career. And so the career of an eating god is a career of contributing, uh, creativity, output, in terms of songwriting, in terms of storytelling, in terms of producing intellectual content, copyright issues, and so on. Uh, therefore, that's where uh, we'll find uh, that those who have this in the luck pillar tends to manifest themselves in a more artistic nature. Okay, so what happens if you have missing EG? Huh? Missing EG. So in the first part, those who have missing EG, they usually, of course, do not enjoy fine dining. They don't. Uh, to them, uh, to them, they just eat to live. Huh? They just eat to live. No missing EG means they will eat the simple, the simple food uh, as close as possible. They wear basic stuff. As it is. But please don't uh, please do not confuse that when we talk about creativity and we talk about ideas, it's not just eating God that has them. Huh? Huh? We have uh, indirect resources is also quite creative. Hurting officers also are innovative. So we do have other elements that also can be equally creative. So it's not that you lack, huh? it's just that the ideas are not uh, so well informed no? not so long term no? so not so long term so eating god represents has this now it now here uh, what would be uh, what would be a dream natal chart i mean if you get to choose your if you get to choose your natal chart if you get to choose your natal chart uh, many would prefer wealth here. Many would prefer to have their wealth here. Because if the day master and wealth is side by side, 
then you're among the richest. Huh? So therefore, that's something desirable. And direct wealth is good. And you might want to have your direct resource here because to be resourceful, to be academically inclined, to have the support at your young age should be fantastic. And of course, direct officer. Huh? So uh, give you greater authority when you're old. Or vice versa, that can also be fine. Huh? So you'll find that direct officer resource here is equally good. No? So for a dream natal chart, uh, these are the three pressures. Direct officer, direct wealth and direct resource. These are the desirable ones to be protruded to the stem. So here people see you as law abiding, proper, righteous. The facade is a direct officer. Money, direct wealth, meticulous, proper, and amongst the richest, that'd be great. Resourceful when you're old, huh? you have support during your old age, that would be fantastic huh? as well. So, eating God is something that we don't mind, huh? hidden. If eating God is hidden, that is fine, huh? that is okay. Hurting officer that is hidden, that is also fine. So because this an indirect resource is also preferably hidden. So the indirect stars like indirect resource and hurting, uh, if they're hidden, they're, they're fine. Right? They're fine. People don't get to see. And these are talents that you get to use as well. They're very useful huh? to be innovative, to be resourceful, to think out of the box. A great uh, thing to have. So eating God is one of those that if it is hidden, it's fine. Huh? In fact, Eating God is an introvert star. So being hidden is uh, also uh, good. No? It's, also, it's also great. I mean, if you enjoy eating and you eat alone, no? that's fine. No? And, and therefore, you, you don't need the work no? to actually take notice of that. Because here, Eating God is also has a bit of a weird character. It, its character is also uh, quite solitude. No? So being protruded may not necessarily be good. I mean, in a way, you can find that uh, the people who, uh, once the eating God is protruded, you also find that they don't really uh, welcome. Huh? They don't really welcome. Michael Jackson doesn't welcome. He, he'd rather have his life private, huh? but he can't. Okay, so when it's hidden, where should it be hidden? And therefore, this is where, uh, as usual, it would be preferable if it is hidden in the grove. Huh? Hidden in the grove. What are the three? What are the four growth animals again? What are the four growth animals again? That is. Uh, what are the four growth animals? What is the growth animal for? Uh, we'll find them to be a tiger. Okay, tiger. That's right. Snake. Monkey. And uh, so monkey, uh, and pig. Uh, Therefore, these are the four growth. Huh? These are the four growth animals. The growth is basically the first month of the season. And therefore, if eating God is hidden in the growth, it means that it takes time. Huh? Anything that is hidden takes time. So they spend a lot more time perfecting the talent. Huh? Perfecting the talent. Therefore, e.g., hidden in growth means in a matter of time they can nurture huh? to be a perfectionist. Huh? To be a perfectionist. Uh, Therefore, hidden in growth is also it's also something that is positive, yeah. Something that's positive. Uh, so you always find them to be, uh, you know, if they can, so to speak. All right. And so basically, for the case of uh, Michael Jackson, he was a monkey. The monkey month. Therefore, that's also e.g. hidden in. Groove, but of course, it's protruded. Huh? It's protruded. Uh, and therefore, that's where we also must find out huh? which are the growth months itself. Right. I will now look into storage. If it is hidden in the storage, hidden in storage essentially also means after a clash. Now, hidden in storage and tomb essentially would be the earth. Huh? Would be the earth. That's where we have the dog. Uh, that's where we have that's right now. Uh, uh, we have the dog, we have the goat, 
we have the ox and we have the dragon. Now tell for these are the fourth earthly branches and if it is hidden in the storage it would be also good huh? also good huh? to have hidden talents that comes after a clash. Huh? Now, so usually it comes after a clash it comes after a life-changing event and we know the clash when they are clash. Huh? Now for example this year is a year of a dragon so dragon clash with what? Huh? Dragon clash with dog. Huh? So dragon clash with dog so therefore those with a dog earth branch this year if uh, if in the dock eating god is in your uh, if eating god is hidden in your dock and the dragon year comes and clash that would be after a clash and dog and dragon is earth and earth uh. earth and earth is earthquake uh. earth and earth is earthquakes earth and earth is life changing uh, job uh. either you change your job or you move your house uh. So you move your house, you change your job, earth and earth clash, uh, dog and dragon is after a clash. Uh, therefore, maybe uh, after an earthquake, after a clash, after, uh, after uh, and, and this is dragon and, uh, dragon and dragon is what? Uh, dragon and dragon, uh, what do we call that? Dragon and dragon is called self-punishment. So dragon and dragon is self punishment. So in a, so in a dragon meets dragon is also earth meeting earth, uh, also an earth to earth clash, uh, and therefore, uh, and self punishment may also mean that uh, you receive a consequence of a stupid mistake that you make, and so that is a life changing event, and therefore that may also bring out uh, the uh, the awareness uh, and brings out the the need uh, to have this hidden talent itself. So that's how we can also. Look at it, huh? Mm, sorry, huh? Don't want to okay, huh? Therefore, that would be the case, huh? There we have. Now, if it's hidden in the two, if it is hidden in the two, if the eating god is in the two, if it is in the two, not in the storage, huh? Not in the storage, but in the two. Now, therefore, as we look in. Uh, so, uh, and the okay. therefore this will be the case where if it's hidden in the tomb that will be a bit different huh? eating God hidden in the tomb indicates fewer opportunities to enjoy life uh, therefore it means that uh, it, it means that it is something like what we call uh, unfulfilled huh? an unfulfilled desire an unfulfilled desire I mean, let's say for example, luxury items, a luxury branded handbag, no? a, lux a, a sports car, a Ferrari, Porsche. I mean, if you have no desire to own one, you and you cannot afford one, that's well, that that's fine, you know. No, you can't afford one and and you don't want one anyway, so that, that that's fine. Uh, but having that desire to have one, but but couldn't afford, uh, that would be the kind of a uh, eating god. Uh, hid in a hidden tomb huh? that comes in. Uh, th therefore, basically, eating God in the hidden tomb can be spiteful. Huh? They can be spiteful. They can be spiteful. In the case, they can be jealous. Huh? They can be jealous. That's where when they see envious huh? of people, uh, because to them they they want the same thing. Huh? They want the same thing, but they but to them they are denied. Huh? So therefore, the feeling. Huh? Uh, kept them to be envious uh, that would be something that eats them huh? so so this would be part of the character part of the life that, that can also be seen in this part itself okay so the question that comes in in philosophy which one makes you happier which one makes you happier making money or spending money chances are if you ask uh, run water if, if you ask water people If you ask water people, what is the wealth style for water people? The wealth style for water people is fire. Therefore, water people enjoys making money because money uh, make uh, fire makes water move faster. Uh, 
the molecules of a boiling water is more robust, it's more active. But therefore, making money invigorates them. And so the answer to the question, which makes you happier, making money or spending money, to the water day master, it's making money. Making money yeah, makes them excited. Yeah? They love to make money. More than many, yeah? but of course, generally. But eating God, the answer would be spending money. Yeah? So to, to the eating God, uh, happiness is in the spending. Yeah? Uh, shopping therapy, yeah? they might call it. Yeah? Uh, therefore, these are the value system. Uh, and of course, that's what they look at. Yeah? That's Okay, now once again, we want to count. Right? We want to count the number of eating God. And as usual, you know, counting is just a very basic way, but one has to look at the strength and so on. So, as usual, in the case of Pachi, one is good. Huh? One of everything would be just nice. Huh? If you're good, you have one of everything then you have a complex layer and the ability to use it. So here, one, uh, eating, uh, eating God is a talented scholar. Two is also fine, good food. Uh, three uh, becomes foolish, mentally weak. Mentally weak here basically means lazy, indulgent, uh, indulgent. Indulgent in wine and sex. Uh. Especially if it appears in peach blossom. Especially when the peach blossom clashes. Uh, therefore, they are indulgent in sex and drinking. Uh, and of course, uh, in a way, similar to number four. Uh, so number four, number five are very close. Uh, therefore, this would be when eating God is excessive and uh, they, they tend to be tilted towards the area. Basically, eating got uh, basically overeat, lah, overeat lah. and the manifestation of being overweight, lah, overweight. So, those who have eating got structure or eating got fasa, uh, therefore, being overweight is, um, is, a, is a manifest of an inauspicious eating got. Lah. It shows the lack of control. And of course, as usual, uh, as we go through this counting that we have done so often, the last one, of course, is a super vibrant structure. So a super vibrant structure, of course, would have to have seven, huh? which is completely all eating God. Right, so therefore, the very strong, huh? vibrant stuff. Alright, uh, therefore that will be just looking into the counting uh, of the eating god that we have. Okay, so now let's see where the eating god lies very quickly. And of course, if eating god appears into the year pillar, eating god will bring... Now all these texts and literature, of course, again, is a bit biased. Because once it's denoted to be auspicious, all the commentary are all auspicious. Which of course is one-sided in a way. And to cut a very short year pillar, so in the year pillar, happy childhood. In the year pillar, the uh, smart, creative, strong academic performance. But normally, normally eating God is considered to have a poor health. Huh? Poor health. So we consider eating God to have some poor health physically frail so therefore that would be the year pillar when you refer to the child eating God in a month pillar when you enter into society uh, so month pillar represents the career pillar so the career pillar would then be where they would then have the ability to be creative invented they have talent talent star so they earn money. And so for you, this will be where having an eating god as a career would also be very favorable in terms of uh, creative industry. And of course here, when it appears in the day pillar means it's sitting on. Huh? 
for the day master eating god will then be sitting on so you're sitting on eating god so sitting on eating god would indicate that the spouse of course is talented charming and of course uh, a very uh, a, a very intimate lifestyle that they have And I think we discussed this about some two gods go indirect resource restraints the chat. So indirect resource if it's present, indirect resource, indirect resource controlling eating god. Yeah? Would actually indicates negative huh? for ability to have children. Huh? Therefore it's a fertility issue. Eating god in the hour pillar represents your investment uh, represents of course the old age in a way and usually eating God in the hour pillar may represents early retirement early retirement huh? therefore it may deem to be auspicious Auspicious for those who well, welcome early retirement. So you get to retire early. You get to, right? Because basically our pillar represents your old age, huh? and having an eating God there represents uh, represents a very comfortable retirement. Therefore, this will be where we consider it to be what? No, we consider it to be one uh, that has. Huh? Uh, one that has an early retirement and for female for female our pillar represents the children pillar and having eating god in the children pillar where female eating god is the child therefore basically auspicious in a sense there's children inside the children pillar Therefore, it also would denote proper upbringing. Huh? Therefore, children will be children will be smart. Huh? Children will have a scholastic life. Uh, therefore, that would be also to look uh, into the favorable aspect of eating God in the hour pillar. Alright, uh, so this uh, wraps up on the part one where we look into introduction of eating God, where the eating God uh, lies on the chart, how it manifests itself. And so I'll see you next week. And next week we'll move on into the interactions as eating God meets all the other ten gods, yeah? As it is. Right? So yep, thank you, Pepui. Thank you for all. So I will see you uh, in the next session.